How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you how I edit my underwater underwater photos from this to this. Okay, story time. So last year when COVID started, uh, my wife and I decided to get an underwater housing and that was just that was the best decision ever. Hawaii was in lockdown so pretty much there were no tourists in the island. It was just the residents enjoying the beach. I spent most of my time on the ocean in the water always swimming always bringing my underwater housing with me still in love with the ocean and i'm yeah probably not gonna stop d diving ever underwater photography is such a big part of my life now in this video i'll be showing you my workflow in editing an underwater photo using my very own adobe lightroom preset i have literally spent months perfecting this preset i was a bit hesitant sharing it to other people just because you know i've spent so much time with it but i just realized how much other creators have shared their workflow in helping other people so i feel like you know i have a responsibility to to give back as well um yeah so let's get into it all right welcome to my computer this is adobe lightroom and on this side you'll see my preset there's a 25 percent there's a 60 there's the 100 percent uh, for this specific one 25 percent could work but i think i'm gonna go with 60 percent there you go. Just doing one thing, just putting on a preset on this photo made it so much better already. Here's the before and after. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix the, the angle, crop it a little bit, and then go to detail, sharpen it. There you go. Before and after. It literally took me 30 seconds to edit this photo. Without a preset, this would usually take me about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but with this one, not even two minutes. Okay, moving on to the second photo. This one will definitely require more work. And the reason why is because we're going to brush her skin. Um, we're gonna use 60%. You see how her skin is just a little bit too dark and there's not much data in it. We're gonna bring back the color of her skin by brushing, by using this tool right here. Gonna press it, and you're gonna brush it on her skin. On this side, the color section, you're gonna find the color of the skin tone. Like you see how her skin changed color. You don't wanna make it too saturated, like too orange. You just wanna find the right balance. Maybe there we're gonna lessen the saturation let's see how that works maybe a little bit more that's maybe like 10% there you go see how our skin tone is slowly coming back to life Alright, you see how her skin tone came back to life? So this was before, that's after. Before, after. Before and after. It's very subtle, but it makes such a it makes such a big difference. Um, it's a little bit too dark. I think I'm gonna increase the highlights and maybe the exposure as well. I want this side to be darker, so I'm gonna use this. Um, tool right here. I forgot what it's called. I think it's gradient something But I'm gonna make that darker There you go and before and after So I did three things right I put in a preset brushed her skin and then um, Did some adjustings and that's it beautiful all right, so that is how I edit my photos in the simplest way. One thing I want to remind you though is to not rely entirely on a preset in color grading your photos. There are a lot of factors that contribute to the photos like kind of camera you use, white balance, lighting, um, focus, and then condition of the water. Um, there's a lot of things. Don't expect that once you put on a preset on, on a photo that it's automatically going to look good. The link to my preset is down below. Subscribe if you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. 
and if you want to follow me on instagram to see more of my work here's my handle thanks again for spending your time here appreciate you being here see you later